Hey guys, so we're out here today and we're gonna try something a little different. Um, so we're fishing and it's time to eat and we just decided, hey, let's film it. Let's show you guys, you know, the good food we like to eat while we're out on the river. So today we're gonna make a huckleberry balsamic glaze rainbow trout. There's lots of huckleberries out, so we're picking them, we're fishing. Uh, so just comment below, let us know what you think about these river snacks videos. So here's a huckleberry. Uh, lots of green ones on this one still, but lots of times when you find like one huckleberry bush, you'll just find a whole bunch in that area. And it's the time of year. These huckleberries only grow in parts of Idaho, Montana, a little bit of Wyoming, Utah. I think they get some in Alaska, but mostly just kind of these Western states. I don't think Colorado. You can't domesticate these, so if you wanted to, you shouldn't ever uproot something and take it from the forest service, but if you wanted to take these and try and plant them at home, they just, they don't grow. Uh, University of Idaho has been trying to domesticate huckleberries for years, and uh, it's just one of those berries that is meant to grow out in the woods, not in your backyard. Yeah, these huckleberries are super high in antioxidants. They're so tasty. It's like, what do you think, like a blueberry, but... Yeah, it's like a small blueberry. Sometimes they're sweet, sometimes they're bitter. Mm -hmm. But you get them all together, like you got sweet ones and bitter ones in here, that's gonna make a really good sauce. Kind of more tart than bitter too. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Um, they only come out like probably mid-July to September. So, you know, month and a half picking season. And as you, as one, as a certain area kind of dies out, then you go a higher elevation and then those huckleberries might be ready and then just you just keep following the huckleberries. Yeah, you can see a lot of these are green, so these will be ready in a few more weeks. We only need about a half cup, so this will probably work. Yeah. Maybe a little more than a half cup here, but that'll make for a nice little glaze. Can be good. Pull it out. All right, so we're gonna do half a cup of huckleberries in. Probably should've washed them first, but. Tablespoon of balsamic. A little pack of sugar. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda mush up the berries a little bit and then just kinda let this simmer and reduce for about 15 minutes. Turn it into like a thick sauce. Fish so fresh, huckleberries so fresh. So we don't really eat fish very often. It's it's pretty rare that we eat fish. Um, most of the time we're just catch and release. But here or somewhere where you've got like stocked fish, um, especially like over by where I live in East Idaho, there's a, they're trying to get rid of the rainbow trout because they're breeding with the Cutthroat trout creating a hybrid which creates problems. So uh, they fishing game encourages you to keep rainbow trout out of there. So anywhere where it's like an invasive species, you know, you're just doing fishing game a favor. Or some place like this where you can catch some stocked fish and cook them up. It's just a nice little treat when you're out on the river. Don't have any butter, so we're just sprinkling it with kosher salt and wrap it in foil. All right, so the glaze looks like it's done. Uh, let's go check on that trout. It should be ready to go. The glaze turned out a little thicker. Done. So I like leaving the head on. Some people say it, it helps retain flavor, but this right here 
cheek meat, that's almost like a delicacy on the fish. It's really good. Wow. That huckleberry sauce is so good. That was really good. Yeah? That's it right there. Oh, dude. What a snack. So back in the day, I used to just kind of like eat uh, Cool Ranch Doritos and Mountain Dew, but that's just not really enough to get you through. So if you guys uh, have some good ideas for some more River Snacks videos and uh, some of your favorites that you like to take on the river, go ahead and leave it in the comments.